and they underestimated it. Gets it to Bradley. Elwood to drop it. Goal. It's over. Again, you know, the old English superiority complex when they play against one of their little Celtic brethren, and they can't help themselves, they, and they came over full of themselves that day. They were going to get about 25 players out of 30 in the Lions squad that was going to be announced the next day. We weren't going to get diddly squash. England had a very big pack. They also had a, a terrific back line, and they were led by Will Carling. And England had come to Lansdowne Road expecting to win this game. They were brimful of confidence. And the only way that Ireland was going to beat them was to use traditional Irish methods, and that's get in their faces, and they really did get it in their faces. Eric Elwood's kicking game was immaculate that day, and and he got every point he could out of the game for us in terms of also landing on two drop goals. Ireland didn't have many chances that day, but they took every chance that came their way, and that was mainly thanks to Eric Elwood. There's a wholeness about Elwood's play that's always impressed me. Not the most nimble on his feet, not the quickest uh, ball handling out half, but in terms of getting it tactically right, on the big occasions, he's right up there in the Campbell League. Eric Elwood from the 10 metre line. Has found the target and the distance. And it was just an incredibly passionate performance. Again, Willie Anderson, an unstated role as the un unofficial forwards coach because he was then also a development officer. The ball is available on the Irish side. Bradley, Elwood, another drop at goal. 